Okay, welcome to Veterans Yoga Project, Power Yoga with Cortez. I'm glad and honored to be sitting in for Cortez. My name is Brian G. Uh, today we're going to do an activating breath and then a 30 minutes or so of mindful movement, uh, hopefully with a little bigger and a little low. We'll see how that goes and then we'll do our twists and then we'll come back to a uh, calming breath, a pattern interrupt breath, and then we'll go into our guided breaths. So let us begin by landing, by coming into this place and into this space, by finding ourselves here in the present moment in this place. And we do that by finding our posture of support, whatever that means to you, feeling into whatever part of your body is in contact with something, the feet on the floor, the sits bones on the cushion or the chair, the spine on the back or the wall or the mat, maybe the legs off the wall, maybe the elbows on the chair, whatever part of your body is in contact with something. Bring your awareness to that place of contact and then open to your, your awareness to the possibility that that place of contact, that sensation of connection, that is support. What is it like to feel into the possibility that support is available in this moment? What is it like to feel into the possibility that support is always available in this moment? And then feeling into those places of contact, those places of connection, as if we could extend roots through them down into the earth, root down. And then I invite you to lengthen through the side body, lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the crown. Tuck the chin slightly, feel the full length of the spine. And then staying lifted, bring your awareness to your heart space by perhaps bringing your left hand over your heart, your right hand over your left, or your hands in prayer, whatever most effectively works for you to bring your awareness to your heart space. And in your heart space, allow to arise any one thing that speaks to you of gratitude. Maybe it's a person that made it possible for you to be here, whatever it is. Maybe it's just the possibility of gratitude. Whatever that is, allow it to arise. See it clearly in your mind's eye as you look inward to the center of your being. And then I invite you to anchor that sense of gratitude right there at the center of your being. And then having find, found ourselves here in a supported posture and allowed gratitude to arise, I invite you, if you choose, to set an intention for your practice this evening. Perhaps just a simple intention to keep your gratitude centered or maybe just to be aware of your breath. Moving with breath as we move through the practice today. But whatever your intention is, I invite you to say it to yourself in a clear and declarative voice as if it is already done and repeat it three times. And as the echoes of that intention reverberate in your being, I invite you, if you choose, to offer a benediction to seal that, as I say, namo, namaste. And then releasing your hands, releasing yourself, come back into your supported length and posture. We're going to begin with an activating breath, a breath of fire, a Bastrico's bellows breath. Three arm positions if you choose, remembering that always it is your practice and you're going to do what's right for you. Listening to the wisdom of your body, modifying it anytime as you need, finding whatever support you need, taking whatever alternate posture you need, whatever you want. It's your practice. The only requirement is that you be present and breathe. These are simply offers, suggestions, and invitations from over here. So the first position of the hands will be on the knees. And then the second position will be arms out, palms up. And then the third position will be hands at prayer. And I'll cue those as they come if you choose to do that. If not, you just keep your hands on your knees for the entire practice. We're just going to be here for a bit. And I've got a timer here to keep us going. Breath of fire is an active exhale through the nostrils while using the diaphragm. I'll exaggerate. The inhale comes as you release the diaphragm. The exhale, you pull the diaphragm back and down or belly button to the spine. And you don't do it that forcefully. The body is very still. There's no stress, strain, or exertion. It's really actually just a gentle and quiet breath. You find your rhythm, your pace, your breath. Body is still, awareness is on the breath in the nostrils and the diaphragm moving. Focus is at the brow point if the eyes are closed or at the tip of the nose if the eyes are hooded. So finding that length and supported posture, hands on the knees, 
and inhaling, begin breath of fire. And then find your appropriate rhythm where you can be still and be aware of the breath. I'm doing like maybe one breath per second here. And again, no stress, no strain. The inhale and the exhale are the same length. So although we're exaggerating the exhale with the diaphragm, we're also making the inhale be equal. At any time, if you feel like you're not in rhythm and in flow and in, able to be still, then you're probably working too hard. And so back off a little bit. Just be. And if you get lost, just stop. And start again when you're ready. It's just yoga. We're just breathing. Nothing special to do. No one you have to be. All just here. A few more here in this posture. And then take your arms out if you like, palms up and continue. Your rhythm, your pace, your breath. Again, the body is still. So the diaphragm is moving, but the body is not. If you find your body rocking and your hips are moving, then you're working too hard. And back off a little bit. Feel like you're lengthening and extending and just being still. Turn your focus inward. Be aware of the breath in the nostrils and the diaphragm moving. And again, your focus is at the brow point if your eyes are closed or at the tip of your nose if your eyes are narrow and hooded. And we're just breathing, just feeling into this breath, activating. You may feel some heat as you're moving this diaphragm back and forth, begin to pump a little bit in the navel area. You may feel that heat be generated. A few more here. And then go ahead and bring your hands to prayer. Continuing. Just being in your breath. Feel the awareness at the heart space as you move the diaphragm and breathe. Check in with your sense of gratitude. Check in with your intention. About 20 more seconds here. Take a full inhale, and then gently retain the breath. Relax the shoulders down, tuck the chin slightly. All your focus in at the center of your being as you gently retain this breath. Whenever you need to exhale, go ahead and do so. Release the hands down, and just sit quietly. Let your breath return to normal, release any shaping, just feel into your own experience. Take a full inhale. A complete exhale. A full inhalation, a complete exhalation. And then let us come to your mat. 
on your back. We'll start on our back. Extend the legs. Let the toes fall open. Extend the crown. Let the palms come up at your side, palms up. Then bring the heels and toes together. Bring the knees to the ceiling. Take the arms out from the shoulders and then lift the feet. And we're just going to begin to gently let the knees fall one side on the exhale. Inhale back to center. Other side on the exhale. Back to center. So we're windshield wipering the knees. Just gently opening up through the hips and engaging through the core. A few times here, feel into this practice. Support for this is to keep your feet on the mat, but it's just gently twisting open, dealing into this. Mm. One more each direction. Come back to center. In exhale, bring the knees into the chest and squeeze. And then take the legs long. Bring the arms out behind the head. Interlock. Or gently. So we're not pulling on the neck here. We're just kind of finding our space back here. And then we're just going to do some gentle crunches here so full body crunch lift the knee lift the legs and lift the head and then exhale knees to nose inhale extend release exhale knee to nose your rhythm your pace your breath finding your own practice here just a few of these waking up the core Little row boat sort of curl. The higher you lift your legs, the more support you'll have. So, you need more support. Press the knees up to the ceiling. Let your whole spine support you. The lower your legs are, the more you're engaging through the hip flexors and through the core. Uh, keep the elbows open as you come up and bring the nose to the knees. Now, uh, yeah, keep the shoulders in alignment and allow you to work through the shoulders. A few more here. On your next exhale, bring the knees in, bring the nose up, squeeze, and then release the feet down. Let your hand, feet walk out to the edge of your mat, your knees fall together, bring your hands to the abdomen, feel the abdomen release, active rest. Lengthen through the crown, pull down through the side body. Take a breath. Side out. <sighs> a little lion's breath, maybe. Let's feeling into this. Now we're going to do our leg lifts. Our hands come down by the side. Feet come together. Take the legs up. Press through the heels. Point the toes. Now, for support, you may bring the thumbs underneath the sits bones, or you may bring it back to the palms underneath the SI joint for full support. Find the posture that's correct for you. Allow support precedes action. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Inhale, legs come up. Exhale, legs go down. If both legs is too much, you can just scissor kick one leg at a time. If you need to modify that, you just keep one leg down and just work one side at a time. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And just work through one side or Scissor, take turns, alternate, or both legs. Find the practice that works for you. It's your practice. Be in it. Working with your breath, aligning movement with breath. Mm.
few more here. Inhale the legs up, press through the heels, flex the toes, maybe grab your toes in the yogi toe lock, straighten the legs, stay long through the crown, press down through the lower back. Mm. And then release the legs down. Take a moment to let the toes fall up and the palms fall up. And breathe. Allow everything to settle for a moment. The integration period between the movements is just as important as the movements. Allow yourself to feel where that energy is activated in your body. Allow yourself to take your rest. We work between shtira and sukha or between effort and ease, between activation and release. And so this is our, this is a part of our practice. Releasing. And then bring the knees into the chest. Squeeze, little rock a little side to side. And then if you like, rock a little bit up and down on your spine. And bring yourself to standing. We're going to do our squats. The squats today are going to be or frog squats, so the toes are apart at an angle, pointing out maybe 45 degrees, 60 degrees, depending on your mobility in your joints. The heels are together. We come into the squat. Now the squat is to where your heels begin. This might be your squat. Depends on your body. If you need or would like, you can support yourself with your block or even with a chair if you need to be up higher. Otherwise, you come down, heels together, hands, fingertips just out in front of the shoulders, maybe 20% of your weight in your fingertips supported here. This is the exhale posture. The back is straight. Chin is up. The chin is level with the ground. The inhale, we straighten the legs, lift the hips, let the forehead come to the shins. Exhale. And so we find our rhythm, our pace, our breath. We're going to do 27 of these here, inhaling and exhaling. Your rhythm, your pace, your breath, ocean breath. Breathe in through the nostrils. Tighten the back of the throat, the glottis, so you can hear your breath and then move to the rhythm of your breath. Dance with your breath. Body and mind dancing together to the rhythm of the breath. When you finish, just come into your mountain pose. Allow your breath to restore itself. Come back into yourself. One more if you're with me. Inhale up. Parallel the feet. Grasp the toes in yogi toe lock. Come into a forward fold. Let your elbows fall down. Let your Forehead, come to your shins. Lift the hips, press back through the hips and the heels. 
straighten the legs. Breathe deep into the back. Inhale to a flat back. Release the toes. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up. And release the arms, palms forward, fingertips extend, settle into your mountain, soften the knees and ankles, lift through the waist, tuck the chin, and just let everything be. Check into your heart space, check into your sense of gratitude, check into your intention, allow the breath to stabilize again, allow everything to settle. Effort, and then ease. Mm. Activating, and then releasing. Come to the top of your mat. We'll move into sun salutation. So inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Hands beside the feet. Walk, step, or hop back to your plank. Inhale, stabilize the plank. Exhale, lower down. Come all the way down to the mat. Release the toes and the top of the feet. Bring the hands to the breast. Lift the crown. Come into your cobra. Exhale, curl the toes. Lift the hips. Press back down with dog. Take a breath in downward dog, a full inhale, a complete exhale. Check your alignment. See if you can bring your feet behind your wrists in line with your wrists. Let the hips go high, let the head drop, crown comes towards the mat. Press your heels down towards the back of your mat. Extend your toes forward toward your wrists. Get into the back of your legs. Walk your dog a little bit, bend one knee, press back through the opposite heel. All right, take a full inhale here, a complete exhale. Full inhalation, look up between the hands. Exhale, walk, step, or float forward. Come into your forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Gather as you go. Exhale, release the hands. One movement, one breath. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Hop, step, or jump back and lower. Inhale, rise up, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Take one breath. A full inhale. A complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, walk, step, or float forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, release back the mountain. Continue. Two more. Your rhythm, your pace, your breath. Follow the rhythm of your breath. Be in your practice. Find your flow. Every time you come to down dog, take a full inhale, a complete exhale to stabilize here, maybe sigh it out. Find yourself after your complete your salutations. Find yourself in mountain at the top of your mat. 
Allow everything to settle. Check back into your breath. Check back into your intention. Check back into your heart. Inhale here. Exhale, just be here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sink into your chair. Knees back, toes forward. Hands can be in thunderbolt, in prayer at the chest, at the waist, on the thighs, whatever is appropriate for you for support. Breathe into your back. Sink the hips a little deeper. Mm. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back into a lunge. Press through the right heel. Bring your arms up, come into pressing. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink in. Press into the left heel, back through the right heel. Find your length. Mm. Mm. Inhale, get long. Exhale, release the hands down. Step back, press back. Inhale to a plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Take a full inhale. A complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, bring the right foot forward into a lunge. Press back through the left heel. Bring the arms up. Find your lunge. Press down into the right heel. Back through the left heel. Lift the left thigh. Get long through the fingers. Exhale, stabilize. Be in your crescent. Inhaling here. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Frame the foot, step back. Inhale to a plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, press back. Take a breath. A full inhale. A complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, walk, step, float forward, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sink the hips, lift the arms, come back into your chair. Exhale, settle in. Drop the hips, level. Find your arm position. Check your knees and toes. Breathe. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release, come mountain pose. Take a breath. And stabilize here in mountain. Feel into this. Mm. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, sink it to your chair. Inhale, lengthen it. Drop the hips a little more. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, hands beside the feet. Step the right foot back. Drop the right heel down and in. Inhale, rise up to warrior. Establish yourself here in warrior. Lengthen, sink in, balance your weight between your feet. Check your alignment here. Feel into your length. Ooh. And inhale, straighten the left leg, bring the right hand to the right hip, bring the torso forward over that left leg, and then let your left hand drop to your thigh, your ankle, your shin, your block, inside or outside the foot, legs are straight, begin to rotate the torso, shine the body, and then maybe take the right arm high, opening into your triangle, feeling into your length, Find your three triangles. Balance weight between the feet. Straight line energy. Middle finger to middle finger. Long through the crown. Sternum. 
Hips. Breathe. Mm. Inhale here. Exhale. Bend the left knee. Drop the hips. Bring the right arm over the biceps. Frame the ear. Look up under the right armpit. Find your side angle. Long straight line from right middle finger to right heel. Inhale here, exhale, look down, bring your hands down, frame the foot, and then straighten the left leg and drop the head to the knee, finding your length in the stretch. Releasing tension in the hips. And then walk your hands, turn your toes in, your heels out, come into your wide-legged fold. Oh, actually. Facing off the long side of your mat, release the head. Great place for your gear. You can use your block as a support for your head. Take your hands to the outside of your ankles. Or yogi toe lock. Or walk your hands back underneath your body. Binding your wide-legged forward fold, press into the outside of the feet. Feel the length in the outside of the leg. Big wide open. Mm. Inhale here, flat back. Walk your hands over to the right. Turn your toes so your right toes are facing off the back of your mat. Your left heel is down and in. Bend into the right knee. Bring your right hand inside your right foot, elbow supporting the right knee. Extend the length into the crown. Take the left arm, bicep frames the ear. Come into your side angle. Facing off the back of your mat, looking up under your left arm. Press back into the outside of the left foot, down into the right heel. Find your length. Shine a little brighter. Take the left arm high. Maybe look up and see the thumb. Begin to straighten the right leg, right hand to the shin, the ankle, wherever is appropriate as you come into your triangle. So opening and shining the chest, opening the heart, looking up, seeing the left thumb perhaps as you shine. Find your triangles. Weight balance between the straight legs. Straight line energy from middle finger to middle finger. Alignment from crown through the shoulders and hips. Breathing into your triangle. Mm. Opening and shining a little brighter. Strong core here. Slowly come up, slowly come up, slowly come up. Bend into the right knee and find your warrior. Facing off the back of your mat, pressing into the outside of the left foot, sinking into the right heel. Warrior. Mm -hmm. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring the hands down, frame the foot, steps back, press back. Inhale to a plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, exhale, press back, downward dog. Take a full inhale, sigh it out if you like, lion's breath. <clears throat> inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, walk, step or float forward, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sink the hips, lift the arms, find your chair. Exhale, sink in. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, straighten the legs, release the arms, come back to now. A full inhale, a complete exhale. Allow everything to settle here. Take a moment to check in with your intention, with your sense of gratitude. Then come down onto your mat on your back for our twist. Our twist is going to be a cross twist, so we take our left. Arms out from the shoulders, bring the knees to the sky. Take the left leg up, cross the left leg tightly over the right. Maybe you can hook that calf, that tuck the left foot around the calf, maybe not. Inhale here, exhale. Let the knees come over to the left as you look over the right shoulder. And allow the knees to move away from the face. And down as you gently relax through the crown, through the temple, through the right ear, through the right shoulder. Breathing across the right side of the body and deep into the right hip. Opening the chest, feel the breath across the chest. Lengthen by moving the knees away from the face. Breathe in and breathe out. Just be here. Allow yourself to hug yourself, to massage yourself, to give yourself release here. As we come to the end of our practice here, we're going to do our breath and then our guided rest. Inhale, come back to center. Take the left leg high, release it long. Bring the left knee back in towards the sky, left heel toward the hip. Take the right leg up, press through the heel, and then cross the right leg over tightly, maybe hooking the calf, maybe not. Inhale here, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, let the knees go to the right as you look to the left. And again, weight of gravity and the weight of the legs in gravity doing the work here. So we're not pressing, we're just allowing the legs to come over across the body. Thought processes to take the knees away from the face to get length through the chest, through the abdomen, and open into that left hip. Shoulder is relaxed, temple is relaxed, breathe deep. A gentle massage, a loving hug of yourself. Mm. Inhale back to center, make the right leg high, release the right leg. Bring the knees into the chest and squeeze, rock a little side to side if you like, and then rock up where we are. Oh, perfect timing. Okay, rock up if you like on your spine. Come back to seated. We're going to do our pattern interrupt breath, our breath of light. So find yourself in a supported posture in which you can lengthen the spine and breathe and then do that. So again, the body is very still. The awareness is on the breath and the spinal column because we're going to breathe up the spinal column and then exhale. So we're inhaling in seven equal sniffs, seven part inhale. And then we're exhaling in one long flow down the front of the body. Think about inhaling up the back of the body, up the spine in seven parts. The first inhale at the root of the spine, second inhale at the sacral area, third inhale at the navel, fourth at the heart, fifth at the throat, sixth at the brow point, seventh at the crown. Pause at the top, and then one long continuous flowing exhale down the front of the body as if it's spilling out, air fall right down out of the nostrils, down the front of your body. Hands on the knees, spine is long, body is very still. Awareness is on the breath as it moves up the spine and down and out the front of the body. And right, let me get this timer so we don't overdo. Perfect timing here. All right. And let us begin. Inhale, root, sacrum, navel, heart, throat, Brow point, crown, hold, 
Exhale, long, continuous flow down the front. And continue off the back, root, sacrum, navel, heart, throat, brow, crown, pause. Exhale, long, continuous, extended exhale down the front. Again, body's very still, and then this is kind of silent. I'm exaggerating here, but see if you can be silent in your breath. Find your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. See the breath landing at that point on the spinal column and up into the head. Visualize that airflow like an airfall down the front of the body as if you're breathing out light down the front of your being and then inhaling light up the back of your being. your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Just continue the pattern. Couple more rounds. Last round, wherever you are. And release the pattern, release any shaping of the breath. Let go of everything and just settle into stillness. Just be very still. This is your rest. You're done. Let go. Be done. Allow yourself to be still. If you like, you come down on your back. Let your toes fall open and your heels go as wide as is comfortable for you. Palms up at your sides. If you're seated, just be very still. Release. Whether you're lying down or seated, release any processing of your practice. Just let go, be done, allow yourself to be done. Let go of any analysis, any conversation, any judgment, any need to do. Just be at rest for a moment.
allowing yourself this gift of rest. This practice of self-care we call rest, letting go, gifting yourself this moment. And as you rest here, I invite you once again to allow to arise any one thing that speaks to you of gratitude. And as you rest here in gratitude, I'll take this opportunity to extend my sense of gratitude to you. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your practice. I'm honored to be here, truly. And I invite and encourage you to stay here in grateful rest as long as you like. And when you do find a rise, let your gratitude and the echoes of your practice carry you through the remainder of your day, lifting yourself and all that you come in contact with. Have an amazing evening.